Hello and welcome to Messing About with Models with me John. Today we'll be looking at stopping trains falling off the end of the layout. Or, more prosaically, how to fit a buffer stop. Buffer stops are used in the real railway for stopping trains from falling off the end of the track or crashing into platforms. Although our models don't have the same need to be stopped as the real life railway, if we want to make our models look realistic, we need to have buffer stops. Now, there are several different types on the market, and I've used uh, only ones before. Our, um, not terribly realistic, although they're not too bad. They do a job and I, I dare say there's a prototype for them somewhere. They're quite big and chunky um, because they're designed to clip to Hornby track and withstand um, being mucked about and pulled on and off quite a bit. Pico ones are a small little kit and we'll be looking at those today and actually looking at how we can make them look be even better with just a few simple modifications. So let's go and have a look at what's in the kit. Here's the kit. It's fairly simple. just three parts. The thing to watch out for is that the sides are handed so you need to get them the right way round and it's all in brown so if that's all you wanted to do that's fair enough but we want to take this a little bit further um, we're going to glue it together, paint it, and we're also going to um, trim off these little bits here, which are used to sort of clip it to the track. Um, because we're just going to glue it down to the track, we're not looking at... Um, we can just take off those extra bits to make it look a little bit more realistic. And we'll also take off these pips um, that are on the buffer heads there. Um, in terms of glues we're going to use, I'm going to use my Plastic Magic, but any liquid poly or contact adhesive or even super glue would work. What I'd always suggest is that you look at pictures of the prototype and just try to use them not to replicate them exactly, but just to give you an idea of the sorts of things that were out and about that are relevant to your period. Obviously, if you're modelling a uh, modern day station, these are maybe not going to be quite so useful. And there's still some of this type of buffer stop about on the network. Um, a lot of the ones that you'll see are chunkier, uh, big red ones. Um, Now the other thing that's on, on here is they've moulded in a uh, tiny lamp to sit on the uh, top of the buffer beam there. And you can decide whether you want to keep it or whether you want to take it off. Um, there's a little lamp bracket on it as well. So you can either keep the lamp bracket if you're very careful at taking off the lamp. or I'm going to keep the lamp on there for this one. And I've got a bit of track here because I'm going to use that to make sure that I keep the, the, the sides um, at the correct distance apart at the bottom. All we need is just a dab of our glue.
And again, if that's all you want to do, that's perfectly fine. But what we're going to do is we're going to paint this up and just take it to that little extra level. All right, I've just given uh, it a quick coat of primer and just realised that I have jumped ahead of myself, given it a primer without having taken these pips off. So I might have to give it a little bit of extra coat uh, to start with. But all we need to do is just sort of chop them off. I'm trying to be very careful with everything. Try not to damage it. That bit's not set yet. This is where super glue would have come in handy because of course it would have set instantly. Right, and Now we've done that, it's just left a little uh, smooth bit, yeah, which we're just going to sort of score through, just give it a couple of the wood grain effect along there just to hide the where the pips were. And again, if that's all you really wanted to do, um, that would still look fine on, on almost any layer. I've used red primer, um, Halford's rattle can red primer. And what that's done is it's given it sort of a browny, red, rusty sort of look. And that could be fine, just as it is. Um, but we'll be doing a little bit more paint work and um, also uh, just making it stand out a little bit more. Um, just to do something different. And again, you could leave it just like that. It doesn't need to be weathered. But what we'll do is we'll dirty it up and it'll look like a buffer stop that's at the end of a siding that's a bit overgrown. Right. And that's what it looks like. But it looks too clean, doesn't it? So Let's give it a little bit of weathering. I'm going to do a bit of frame dirt. I'm just going to dry brush it, really. Um, just get the very faintest of faint sort of splodges over it. Again, the red primer means that it's kind of already looks a bit rusty and grotty. Right, 
And there we have it. A buffer stop that looks old and tatty, weathered, and at the end of the line, ready to stop any runaway wires. So don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. So don't forget to hit the like button if you've enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Catch some of my other videos that are on screen now. And see you in the next one. Bye.